Welcome to another inspiring episode of Women in STEM Africa. Today we are here to celebrate another African woman doing well in a STEM field. Hello, madam. Hello, Celestine. Um, kindly introduce yourself to our viewers. All right. My name is Jean Ajay Kwoti. I'm an architect builder and I, I work in, my, I live in Tema, but my office is in Accra. Yes. Okay, so if you say an architect builder, who is an architect builder? So an architect builder is basically an architect, a, a, a professional, a person who is trained by profession as an architect and has also acquired further training in, in building or in construction. So that's an architect builder. So you do the design and then you do the building? That's right. You do the design and then you do the construction as well. So um, um, school, let's talk about um, studying architecture in school. You studied architecture and then I want to know what it was like for you as a female combining um, architecture with building was it something that was common or is it something that you chose to do? Because I know a lot of architects who don't build. Yeah. And uh, what informed the decision to add building to architecture? Okay, that's good. That's, that's good. So, as in school, I suppose just like any study in any course, you put yourself to the wheel and you do what it takes and you, you study as hard as you can. You spend hours in the drawing room and you make sure that you get your work done and get it done on time. So that, that was school. Um, getting out of school, I realized that there was, there was a gap which needed to be filled, if I must say, in the sense that architects design and usually have con contractors or construction professionals build. But in, in my case, I wanted to create something that was, we call it sustainable architecture, uh, using uh, natural building materials, and materials that, if you like, the construction people are not used to. And in, in that case, you needed to, to step into the game of construction to, to at least make it work. To make to, to put to put across the, the your case that it, it works because the contractor hasn't worked with the material before, so that is how we got into into construction, and by and large we we have we we we, we have decided to, to to keep at it. Yeah. So you mentioned you spent a lot of hours in the drawing room. That's Must right. I know how to draw to become an architect? Whoa. Good question. Not necessarily, especially in today's world where we have we have technology, if you like, assisting architects to bring out what is within them. Before now, we used to rely so much on drawing boards and on sketches. But now we have technology in the form of computer programs that, that help you to bring out what is within you across. But uh, drawing, or if you like, sketching still comes in very handy in the sense that the computer cannot go that far as to tap all that is within you. <laughs> so you need to be able to put something down on paper. It doesn't have to be a perfect drawing as long as it, 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 it brings out what is within you and the computer can help you transform it into what it has to be. Then I would say that yes, to some degree you need to be able to draw but the computer or if you like technology has come in to help us a great deal. What you need, what is, what, what is most essential for you to be able to do is to create. And there's a big difference between drawing and creating. So you need to be creative. You need to be able to look around you and look at problems around you and solve them. And by solving them, you create designs. So creativity is key. Yes, my drawing comes in handy. 
if I study architecture in the university and then after school I decide that I do not want to design for building, for people to build, what else can I do with my knowledge? So many things. Architecture helps you to create, as I said, or it's a, it's a creative, uh, it's a field where your creativity is developed. And across board, uh, you would find that creativity is needed across board, really, in most profession, professions. Architects can work in the banks, architects can work in, in, in various industries, uh, manufacturing, what have you. Architects can work virtually everywhere because where where our input comes in really is thinking outside the box and bringing solution to to problems to teeth and problems and i believe the training helps you to be able to to be on top of that you mentioned the use of technology um and this program is called women in stem stem being science technology engineering and mathematics do you use mathematics in your career a great deal Mathematics is, is, is crucial in, in architecture, in creativity, um, and so yes, uh, mathematics is, is very, very, very essential, yes. I'm talking about mathematics. When I was in school, I used not to like maths <laughs> for, for some reason. And I think I wasn't the only person. A lot of girls right. did not like maths for That's some right. reason. I, I don't know. But being a girl who works um, in a field where you use a lot of maths, what advice can you give to those of us who are so scared of maths? Mm. Uh, is it as difficult as sometimes it's just the mind? Right. Is it as difficult as we think it is? That's right. I, I think the challenge that a lot of females have faced with mathematics is because perhaps our foundations are not quite right and so we think that mathematics is 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 is, is, is the basis of life really <laughs> to be to be afraid of maths is is more or less to be afraid of life <laughs> Because life, in its sense, is is is, is mathematics. Um, I think that sometimes our our where we've come from, if you like, as as Africans, sort of put women at a, a girls at a disadvantage in the sense that we 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 think that it there is not there is no need for girls to be to to think logical to 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 think of um, putting one and two together. You, you are always supposed to stay on the emotional side and you know, not venture. But that, that, is, that is a disadvantage, which w w our education system needs to correct. Um, unfortunately, sometimes the way math is presented in school doesn't also help us because it is it is made to look like something that is out there when really it's with us you know if we can demystify mathematics i think that girls would do well will do very well in maths because it, there's nothing there's nothing strange or 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 you know, difficult about mathematics. It's really, it really boils down to one plus one is two. <laughs> okay, so how long have you been practicing? And then have you at any point in your career encountered any young girl who says, oh, I want to be an architect like you, can you please mentor me? Yes, I've been, I've been practicing for over 10 years now. And it's, it's, it's very rewarding, it's challenging, but it's very rewarding, that much I can say. When you are able to think of an idea, a creative idea in, in the form of a building, you put it out there, you see to it from, from, from foundation to finishing, and you know, your work sits out there, it's really something to be proud of. Um, yes, I've come by young ladies who have said they want to be architects. I've, I, I've, I have friends who have sent their, their girls to architecture school because of me. <laughs> and, and so, yes, I've, and, and 
here and there they come from school to to do internships with us and they 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 are they're making progress i think that they will do they will do quite well in future that, that's great so senior high school um if i do not study science or visual arts can i pursue architecture in the university now in ghana i i believe so now i think that uh there's a wide range of uh, courses that you, you you can you can take and still be able to read architecture. I think now they're looking more at your your grade, which is which is perhaps more important to the authorities. Elsewhere though, elsewhere I mean in the West and in other countries, you wouldn't be able to study architecture without a strong basis in science and maths. Um, as for the creative ability, you have to have it or you, you don't venture. <laughs> it's better you don't venture if you don't actually have the creative ability to to think around things and design and create and you know you, you, if you don't have it it is not it is not advisable for you to read architecture that's right so visual arts uh, somebody studying visual arts doesn't necessarily make him or her creative there is in art there's there are a lot of still images the fact that you can perhaps draw this chair doesn't mean mean that you are creative uh -huh. it's it's so it's it's not so much uh, being able to draw that matters being able to create um it's what is most essential in architecture. But with that, you need a strong basis in, in maths and science. That's certainly crucial. Have you always wanted to become an architect? Yes, yes. I have, I have been born an architect. <laughs> in the sense that from my childhood, I used to, I took to Lego. And of all the games, the toys, the what have you that your parents would, would buy you, I got stuck to Lego at a very, very young age. And you just couldn't detach me from it. In fact, it was a, it was, a, I couldn't live without it. So I kept building uh, anything in shapes and normal, usually I would attempt to put building blocks together in Lego in the form of a house. So <laughs> I, think, I think the idea of architecture had been with me as far back as, as, as my childhood days. Of course, I couldn't, I didn't, it was only with time that I figured out that, oh, this has to be the way that I have to go. Um, in Ghana, it's very common for somebody to maybe go and study, let's say, banking and finance, and after school, the person does not practice it. So for architecture, I want to know, a lot of the females who study architecture, do you think a lot of you or all of you practice on the field, or do they just get the certificate and then mm. they go into something yes, else? Yes, good, good. Uh, um, I think a number of us are not really in the practice of architecture as such, but maybe in related uh, professions, um, you find architects in, for example, the tourism industry. When you go to the Ghana Tourist Board, you'll find architects there. You'll find architects in, 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 in the planning, uh, in, you know, in the, in the uh, what, what do we call them? the statutory authorities, the, the, the assemblies like AMA, you know, Accra Metropolitan Assembly, TMA, TMA, and what have you, all the assemblies in this country because their input is, is, is needed there as well. So in, in related areas, yes, you find a lot of architects, but I wouldn't say so much a lot of, you, did you mention female architects? Right, right, yeah, that's right. So you'll find them in related professions, but not so much in the practice of architecture, I, I, I would say. 
So I am a girl who wants to become an architect and I don't have an architect in my family. I don't know any architect. Mm -hmm. um, I know the architects, they are not like the nurses and then uh, the other professionals who wear uniforms all the time that we meet. You can meet a nurse today or tomorrow mm -hmm. and say, oh, I want to be like you. Yeah. Please be my mentor. How do I locate or how do I find a mentor if I don't have one in my family and I want to become one? Okay, so so I, I, I didn't find a, a mentor in the form of a somebody I could actually go to <laughs> but I did find I did find mentors online um, I did find in fact you find that what you what you if, you if it's architecture you really want to do you'd find these days with technology there are works of architects out there that you you can research into and know about them know what their 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 basis are what their philosophies are and so on and and with time you realize that it is you you are becoming fond of some of them and even though you might never really get to meet them in person you will be able to pick one or two things from them that inspires you to propel you into into the field of architecture, yeah. Okay, so you have a very beautiful house, and mm -hmm. your house is one of your projects. I want to know what informed the decision to use bricks. That's right. It's all in the line of, of finding an architecture or developing an architecture that works for us here in the tropics, because when we go to school, we don't just study building beautiful structures but we study about how to build into an environment and when I say into an environment what I mean is how to build to suit an environment and for us this is what we have we live in the tropics where is 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 hot you know the temperatures here uh, mostly we have the air condition on at now otherwise we may be sweating a little bit even though there, there are so many windows in this house. So the idea is to find materials that um, as much as possible keep us, keep, keep us cool within, uh, just in simple terms. Um, the weather is warm and we just want to keep an environment within that facilitates our work or whatever we do and as much as possible uh, the, the 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 earth breaks as we have our grandfathers have always used you come from the north you know we've have we've always used rammed earth and why did we use rammed earth is because it keeps the inside of the building cool that's right so in a in a similar concept we just uh, modernized that material a little bit and it's called stabilized earth it's not actually burnt brick, it's stabilized it. And we put it together uh, and, and it still retains um, some comfortable uh, inner space better than what the traditional Sankrit blocks do for us. That's right. Um, a piece of advice for a young girl who wants to pursue architecture? If you think you have the creative instinct, by all means, do. Don't listen to what people will say. Oh, me, my family used to tell me it takes so many years. Architecture is, a, you know, you, it's not guaranteed that you find work and all of that. It's not. You don't have to listen to all of that. You have to be creative. You have to be hardworking. You have to, even though it is not essential in Ghana for you to have a science background, you have to try to study some science and mathematics. That will certainly help you. Thank you very much for sharing with us.